Hey Ross World, my money makes money. It just came from the gym. No, I really didn't. I just want to show off my muscles. I did some push-ups last night. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys today because we are like family. Now, you guys are more like a distant third family. And I know you want to be first, but you're not. My immediate family, my wife and kids, they're my first. And then, you know, my other, I don't have any siblings or anything like that, but my aunts and uncles, they're still part of that first family. My second family are the people who I work with um, each and every day. And then you're my third family. I'm not going to even call you my YouTube family, but that's the way we communicate. But you're my family nonetheless. And it's my duty, it's my pleasure to do all the research and give you guys the information. And some of you guys find joy and you can come to One Stop Shop and get the information. And I'm fine with that. Even though I tell you, hey, go listen to these other people. If you feel like I'm doing a good job, then great. I'm, I'm glad I'm doing a great job. We're like family. So understand that I'm not perfect and I want you guys to criticize or if you heard something different to question me. Now, if we go back and forth and you are opinionated or you're dealing with facts and I'm dealing with, or you think I'm dealing with fiction, then I would try to explain that in the best way I can. Because a lot of these things in the financial world, it's kind of like English. Now, you've turned in an English paper before, right? Now, it didn't matter the English teacher. Each English teacher grades a paper differently. If you had 10 college professors or even 10 grade school English teachers and you gave them the same paper, they will grade it differently. What am I talking about? What I am talking about is if you gave your same situation of your finances, of your assets, whether you want to buy a house or buy a car or invest or save or budget, whatever it is you want to do, and you gave it to 10 different people who was good with money. Now, granted, I'm going to be real. I'm not a certified financial advisor, but I do financial advising. Okay. So that's a big difference because, you know, not to get off topic, but very quickly, a certified financial advisor they usually, you got to have a 40 degree, even though I have a master's degree of any kind, of any kind. And then most people, they do an internship at a large financial firm, something like Wells Fargo or Chase. They do that for a couple of weeks. And then they take a two day exam, which gives them their certified financial advisor. Now with me, which I spoke about before, in my last marriage, I was on the brink of bankruptcy. So I took almost a year course, but it was not equaling up to or leading to this CFA, this Certified Financial Advisor. Now, I didn't know that at the time. The only thing I was in, I was in pain. I was in emotional pain. I was in financial pain, but I'm the one who actually put the divorce petition in, okay? Because she took a lot of money. She did a lot of ill will things with my money. And when family saw us to do that, I believe they're no longer family. Then you say, well, are you putting money above love? No, she put money above love, okay? If I tell you, hey, I'm going away on a business trip, don't spend $10,000 to buy your mom a car. And when I do leave, you buy your mom a car. When I look at the account, the money is gone. Then when I call you, you don't respond, but you email me back. <laughs> you know, but I'm talking about some of you. So it's not above, it's not about money above love. It's about her money and my money was above her love for me. I'm off of it. I don't want my wife to get upset about it. But anyway, don't let those things control you and consume you because they're family. Now, there's two spectrums, okay? You have your side and I have my side. My side is to give you what? I've been saying it over and over again. I'm like a freaking tape recorder. I do the research to give you the best possible information and the best possible options, in my opinion. In my opinion, that if you gave your portfolio of assets and revenue and capital and property, et cetera, and taxes, whatever it is, to 10 different budgeters, financial planners, people who are good with money, Whatever, they may come up with 10 different plans. But once again, I would like to note, 
I am not above controversy. I'm not above you emailing me, you writing me, you messaging me and saying, hey, well, this person said this and you're saying this. It's all opinionated. The point is, the point is, where are you going to save the most money? Where, where are you going to gain the most money? And where are you going to lose the most money? A lot of times people forget about these things. And I'm not talking about any professional. When you're getting financial advice from someone who knows a lot about finances, they forget about two things, in my opinion, two major things. And this is in the category of losses, fees, those hidden fees, those hidden fees, like those freaking mutual funds, those hidden fees, and also taxes, taxes, taxes are ridiculous. And see, that's how mutual funds, just for an example, that's how mutual funds kill you. They have a lot of hidden fees. Just when people do their 401k and they 403b, they have all these hidden fees of these actively managed accounts, people moving stocks around and bonds around in these portfolios, fees, 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 fees for the for commissioner, for the broker. They charge you all these fees. Then the taxes, okay? It costs money when they start to adjust and they start to move around all these stocks and bonds in these mutual funds, trying, trying to come with the best possible mix in order for you to make money. It's kind of like a Rubik's Cube. Like, you're there all day trying to get the perfect mix. And the more they try to fix the Rubik's Cube, the more fees and the more taxes. We are family. So when I give you my opinion, and this is not pointed at nobody because I'm going to do another video. It may come out before this one. It just depends. Me and this guy, I do not recall his name, but it's, it's a long name. I'm not familiar with it. It's with a V. And it was the most enlightening conversation he messaged me about my video about debt can be good and he sided with dave ramsey and he was a subscriber of dave ramsey talking about debt is never good and we we went back and forth about how his argument was about how you can do all these particular things in order to buy a house start a business etc and i told him this is the reason why i believe debt is good and these are, and, and I've met some people and millionaires who have incurred debt who are still doing well, who are no longer in debt and still was a millionaire taking out loans. And I'm going to put that discussion up. I'm trying to get it where as though you guys can see it as I read it. I'm still kind of young when it comes to video, video editing. Um, so understand that I love those type of things. It's not about a challenge. OK, he wasn't challenging me. He was being informative and I was being informative to him. And regardless, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I respect his position. I respect his opinion. I respect his views. And hopefully he respect mine. We don't have to agree. And some people say, oh, we agree to disagree. No, 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 no. That's a silly term. I respect your views. I respect your points. And hopefully you respect my views, my points. But quite frankly, I don't care. But I do respect what he had to say. It was very valid. And hopefully, I don't like I said, I don't know if this is coming out before this video or after. But understand that we are family and I'm looking out for your best interest. Even though I released a video um, a couple of days ago about how I want to branch out and kind of do this financial advisor thing. And that I'm only going to charge a dollar to five dollars. And, and I think that's reasonable because if you look on the market and you look at regular certified financial advisors, they get paid 8,000 a month or 350,000 a year. Those are top tier guys, but even the low end guys are making six figures. Now, I'm not in all about the money, but I, I tell you this, doing these videos, doing the research, uh, keeping my equipment up to date takes time and it takes money. So I don't think a dollar or five dollars is steep, but nevertheless, I'm still going to be coming out with videos. I'm still going to be giving you all the information and sometimes patience is the key. I'm not hurting for money. I'm not begging for money. I'm just putting out there because I believe that everybody should eventually work towards entrepreneurship. Everybody have a small business like me. I told you in another video, I am thinking about selling shades from China and then sell it to you guys for double the price. Um, <laughs> real shit. But my point is everybody should eventually break off to entrepreneurship because there's something 
there's something that you want to do. There's something that you want to sell. And just remember this before I end this video because we are family, that when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to the world of making money, it's all about sales. You're selling somebody something. If you go to a yoga class, they're selling you yoga instructions or the teacher is going through their yoga uh, postures, but she's selling a service to you, a personal trainer. You know, either you're buying an item or you're buying a service. It's about sales. Understand that. So I'm not telling you to quit your day job. I'm not telling you to quit your night job. But just understand at some point in your life, you can sell something. You can sell something and don't, don't uh, take that the wrong way. We're not talking about anything illegal. Okay, not anything illegal. And in some states and districts, you can sell weed legally in a state and a city. You can sell your body. But I'm not pushing anyone into that. I don't believe you should do that. There's trillions of other things you can do. Think of, and this had already been done. This is Ross World. When I want to make the connection to my viewers to let them know that we are family, and you can you can comment, you can message, and I'm gonna do my best to try to get back to you with an answer. And most times, you guys are just saying thank you for the great video, and I say thank you back and welcome. This is Ross World, where no one is above the other, not even me. We are family. I'm out.